Hey, oh, no. radical. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's badass. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is what RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is we ain't seen the reactions. The place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today, if you read by the title, you know we're going green for some more Tales of the TMNT reactions. Yes, last time we saw a conclusion to a great arc, man, which was surprisingly just four episodes. I'm still a little conflicted about that, because I felt like Kavaxis was a great villain that I thought just was going to be around for the remainder of this season, but we were able to get him out of there pretty quickly, you know? So, uh, yeah. Thanks largely in part to Mikey, because time and time again, we proved that he is the best of the Turtle Bros. You know, Mikey, he may not have the most common sense, but he's the most resourceful. He'll think of some stuff in a minute and then go and, you know, fix the issue like yeah. he did. He went and... Like he always figures out how things work. He has nobody a creative else could imagination. Nobody else could figure out how the damn amulet thing could work. <laughs> April and her psychic powers couldn't figure it out. But Mikey somehow did, you know, because at the end of the day he's a true gamer and it was like picking up a damn Nintendo controller with him, you know, he's just I'm pressing the invisible buttons and this is how I'm gonna control them, you know, which is what he did with Kavax has unleashed all the undead on New York City, you know, including that crazy ghost guy. I forgot his name. Forgive me. You know, uh, I would say Mr. Wushi, but I'm you know not what sure. I found crazy though is that even at the end of that last episode, even when oh shit, Shredder, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, Shredder was like, "We're not supposed to be here." And that's crazy. Him of all people finally would come to their senses. Like I just need to just stay dead. I was like, man, I already I got my here. revenge. Like, what point do right. I need to be here it's anymore? Right. Like he got his revenge on Splinter. That was literally his sole purpose for being alive. Exactly. So I have nobody else to that. fight. There was no other point in him being there. So he was like, shit. What am I here for? I stink. I got worms crawling all over me. <laughs> so. Mm -mm. Yeah. So that was cool, man. I'm not sure what other adventures the turtles are going to get into, but hopefully they live up to those last few episodes, which were phenomenal. But uh, we're gonna we, we'll see. Um, this is going to be episode five, titled "When Worlds Collide." So let's see what we're talking about with this one. Let's get it. General Rakabaka, to what do I owe this honor? Commander Kothraka, I bring news. The bounty hunter and escape convict, Kavathrak. Ah. Rocka Rocka. Rocka Rocka. six dark years, he turns up I love home, these, but I hate that sound so team. much. <laughs> How is not important. What matters is that he's captured. I've selected you to lead the hunt. I will find him no matter what the cost. Damn, was he missing the eye the last time we saw him? Where is he, General? <laughs> He's hunting benevolent I don't remember. in Dimension X and traveling back and forth to a primitive mud ball the locals call Earth. Earth? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, baby, muscle marinara. Why she thinking of a romantic me? Oh, shit. <laughs> the way her eyes are looking. Girl, yeah, let me find out. Because, no, we are too young for that. You are a man. <laughs> Ain't that the dude that let right. the damn ooze? How he get back to normal? I don't know. These guys are reusable assets at this point. Utron Klaatu, what are Agent Bishop's current coordinates? Okay. This way, Utron Niktu. We had little time to warn him of the Salamandrian rogue. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I know laser tag, bitch. Rock, rock. <laughs> wow. Wait, is the rogue the one that they fought before? Yeah. You remember the turtles were fighting this? Yes. This nigga was eating them. Where is he? Where is Bishop? You two are sickening choppy. I'm out of here. <laughs> Buckethead. Is there something wrong? Yeah. Whoa, you're right. Take it easy. That's why it's. Oh, I see. Everybody is with their crush except for him. He's the only one who actually had an official girlfriend, though. You want to play some? Is he with the time girl? I knew it. Now we can like chop through time and space. Does this mean we're in a long distance relationship? Uh oh, coming out of our shells, 2013. Did he play the drums in the band? 
Yeah. Get it, Chompy. He Who actually did. <laughs> I was like, you know, they probably are making a... A rebel. A loner. No reference. Fine, all by my... <clears throat> Holy space apples. Luna. Hello, Raphael. It's so good to see you. We need your help. We are traveling to Earth. Earth? You're coming here? Hey. When? We're touching down soon, Raphael. I'll send you the coordinates. You sit tight, Luna. Help is on the way. <laughs> Oh, help was on the way, all right. So he's get up and fixes itself. Exactly. A criminal salamandrian has been hunting and destroying Utron on Earth and in Dimension X. Those poor Utron. What kind of jerk would do that? The neutralizer. Uh, yeah, but we zapped him out of existence when we destroyed his teleport. No, he lives. And he has already vanished from our scanners. I fear he may have found a way to jump between dimensions. Mm. Don't worry, sir. She so. might not die, because you know what always happens. Yeah. That's a promise. <laughs> okay, crane yoga? Y'all better do that. Oh, it's a peaceful time over here. So this is what crane are really supposed to be like. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't make us feel they bad for the crane. chilling. <laughs> Hell no. This is food supply right here, baby. <laughs> What's this man's beef with Bishop? We need to split up if we're gonna find the neutralizer. Raph, Mona, Mikey, and Sal Commander will try his last location. Sal Commander. Take this tracker. It's the only way to anticipate his next move. So, so I think we're uh, on. Mona, what happened since the last time we, um, chilled? Chilled? You mean the ice planet where we met? Right. So many things have transpired, Raphael. After you left, Lord Dreg invaded Salamandria. It was a huge battle. The biggest our planet has ever seen. I think seen. Lord Drek was the final boss in the uh, classic 80s and 90s cartoon. Lord Drek? Now that I remember. He survived us turtles and the Triceratops? Man, it's hard to squash that big space cockroach. We drove him away, but Drek swore revenge on The fuck? Oh, shit. They were already thumping and bumping. We were supposed to keep watch. Commander! Where's the neutralizer? Uh, what the fuck are these okay, guys? Fake ass G.I. Joes? <laughs> wow. Come on, yo. Bishop, what the heck is going on, man? Yeah, I thought we were friends, yo. We are friends, yo. <laughs> but salamandrians are forbidden in this galaxy. What the heck? Okay, now the tracker says neutralizer's gone again. Here, let the science guy take a look, maybe? Um, guys? He's here. He's here. <laughs> wow, he just nice. do whatever he wants. Do 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 do. Rock 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 rock. I need to recharge. He on drugs. <laughs> And only a man head can get away with wow. that. Looks like he acquired some kind of electricity-based power. Great, like being indestructible wasn't enough. But let's attack while he's charging up. He's indestructible, pulls out Katana. Right. Do you want to try to slash this man while he's uh. absorbing electricity? Wow. He got the Zeus. It's been a long time, Raka Raka. I owe you for this new power you've given me. Here. Let me thank you. Zip, zap, zip, zip. Wow. Touchstone Pictures presents Zap. I don't know who you are, girl, but I'll crush you like the rest of them. Somebody's weird uncle laughing. Relax. Have a drink. There you go. No! I'll be back for all of you, Raka Raka. You'll be there. I did not realize these were the same salamandrians who helped us battle the Krang. Next time, look before you capture an alien life form, Bishop. We are all friends here. We all seek to stop Kavasta. He don't play it by yeah, his girl. The mm. out of Shoot. Control. What do we do? You be letting people if just, you know, attack me or whatnot. He gonna let that happen. 
Bishop, hey. I'm going to destroy you, and then your precious Ultra Council's next. There must still be Danny Trio. <laughs> Enter the Ultra Mix. What a skillful way to it. But a move. Bro, why did you stay? Everything we watch, somebody got electricity powers and somebody is exploding the place. <laughs> yeah, buddy. How are you gonna insult him as a newt, but your girlfriend is standing right there? He don't care. Pew pew pew! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Who is America. it? America! Drebin from Metal Gear Solid 4 over here? Damn. Damn. Oh, Let damn. him get away. Oh, shit. Now you're just giving this man a vehicle to hijack. Hey. I'm gonna eat your brain, bitch. Do you even Why know? Why is that? Bitch. Wow. Oh shit, not that one. Now you're going in my belly. Leave him alone, neutralizer. Yeah. Why don't you pick on someone with more than just a brain for a body? Yeah. <laughs> Now I have all my enemies in one place. Um, Sal, you didn't bring like some giant robot backup, right? This thing is gonna absorb all the power from the city to make this fake ass. He's gonna put a shot today's system. <laughs> right. The fuck? Oh wow, is that a dimensional one? <laughs> I thought that explosion would have been more epic. Where are we? It's the Utron Council. Wow. I was going to say, do y'all have oxygen? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ew. You the man, Bishop. Thanks. Hi, three, me, Rook. Hi, three? Then I got a backup. <laughs> oh, he got ahead of Shane. I bring you dire news. The rogue salamandrian may be too powerful for the likes of all of us. We know next to nothing about our foe. Mm -hmm. Not entirely true. I've measured his voltage, amperage, even his intrinsic field. You could be a tremendous help to me, Donatello. I have built an electrical dampening cannon that could end him for good. But I need to program it with your data. Ooh, electrical dampener. Let me check that out. So we have a weapon. We still need a plan. Well, he doused him with water. It really shut him down. But we need the element of surprise. If he attacks first, it's all over. Everyone Pose him down. Be wary. Yeah, this needs to be a surprise birthday party. Since he manifested only last oh, year. wow. Shut up, bitch. How bald? He's <laughs> a little tiara to go. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. He ain't playing no games with y'all. Soccer. <laughs> Get him through the <laughs> hey, man, this is get back already. <laughs> okay, Donnie, you got the little blaster. I wonder how much these guys have aged up since going back and forth. Uh... Hey, maybe they are older then. Right. Because they've been there for I don't know how many times and minutes. Okay, water bending, baby, water style. You can't stop electricity. I was gonna say it's like he's just gonna absorb more fucking electricity. Isn't he? he gonna cause a blackout. Of course he is. Why didn't you shoot him? I don't know. I thought he was going to. No! What the fuck? You wanna see angry? Hell yeah. 
motherfucker! What? He is coming. Who is he? Drag? Drag? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. What kind of crap? So this man's gonna make sure he's the final villain in this series too? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Drag! That's the monster that's probably gonna swallow her. Now I shall reap my vengeance of both of you and the turtles and this whole stupid world! <laughs> <laughs> and New York will be destroyed for the second time in a row. It's like, boy, this is our like a hundredth invasion on New York, and no Avenger in sight. You would think in this series, New York would just put a dome Something. over New York so that nobody could invade again. It's like they have so many different curfews. So you got your anus covering up the entire New York City. <laughs> oh, man, that gets an S off the top. Yeah, that was off the chain, man. It's like I knew this guy. The uh, what was his name again? The Annihilator, or was it the, whatever the fuck his name is? Not some, it, but, it, 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 yeah, uh, it's some, but uh, yeah. neutralizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Neutralizer. It sound like he's some kind of like cleaning spray. But yeah, this nigga seemed like he impossible to kill now. But I was hoping that they kind of covered that because, like, we saw his species, but we never saw them interact with one another. So I wasn't sure what their relationship was. You know, I thought he just got kidnapped by the crane and he just went rogue and ultimately went crazy on him. But apparently, this nigga, he's just a evil bounty hunter played by the legendary Machete. You know what I'm saying? Evil bounty hunter. Crazy as hell. For real. I'm yeah, I'm glad they were able to utilize something else besides the shredder. You know, it's like the crane, they decided to just go on their merry way and Boy, live in the over X there. peace. Right? They living in peace, okay? For real. Over a summer breeze makes me feel fine. We oink. It gets eaten. All your worms too. Like everybody getting terrorized over there. Like this nigga got the nerve. Boy, I just I am not looking forward to Unfortunately, probably you give but pass it away. <laughs> Cause I like Raphael. It hurt together. Man, I wish you would stop saying that so it wouldn't manifest. But well, it's already been manifested. Thank you. Anyway, go to the next episode. What would you rate this up? Did you rate it an S? S off the top? Okay, yeah, S for me too. But I guess we're gonna see what happens in number well, episode six, which is a continuation of When Worlds Collide. So let's see. Oh, that was Casey. I did too. It was either Casey or Sid from Toy Stories. I mean, this is actually the least surprising thing. There was a giant turtle that invaded the damn city. He's like, you wanted your red sky season? You got it. Yeah. Ooh, fuck is that? Alien splooge? Something to help the bugs hatch. So, uh, what do we do? Oh, God. Yoink. Leo! Leo! I didn't see that coming. No, no. Yeah, oh, dear. everybody gets their own bug that gets to kidnap them. Everybody. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. It's a raid, literally. I ain't talking about the roast spray. We must retreat. Everyone, hurry. Oh, shit. Hey. You are brutal and needlessly sadistic, Kavathrak. I like that. <laughs> well, just get married, why don't you? Right, miracle drinking buddies over here. And they they raping everything. They taking the cars too. The salamandrian's complete incompetence led Drake to Earth. 
is Malina ship can spawn countless green robots, all because of your collective stupidity. Damn. I really like you, Bishop. So if you talk to my woman like that again, I'm gonna kick you. I can take care of myself, Raphael. Thank you. Go off if on. you dare talk to me like that again, I will chew up your Utron brain and spit it out. Right, we already saved your ass the first Guys, time. We have bigger things to worry about, like ten thousand bugs searching the city. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my esteemed guests. Neutralizer! Your tail is mine! We'll do this together, Lamo! Yeah! Ugh, if they could just stop him from doing that, at least. Oh, God. What is. <laughs> And the other turtles, and be quick about it. That do that. I fried the little one into pulp. Poor Mikey. I have a plan. One that does not require battleships and rockets. Oh, let's hear it anyways. However, my plan will need more than just the six of us. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Shit. This way, follow me. <laughs> this guy. Your toy doesn't work on me anymore, Bishop. I'm adapted. <laughs> okay. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like turn him into a human clock. Somebody's a fan of the big comfy couch. You're gonna pay for what you did to Mikey. Is it? Master combo. Pizza power, baby. You know what it is. The fuck? This side, this nigga's gonna come back. What? What's happening? Boy, I like to with some pizza. Well, I hope he gets some kind of power up from this shit. What well, are he gonna have his uh, Dimension X gear on? Probably. <laughs> Mikey on some Quantum Weep shit. Oh, that is so cool. A neutralizer, a little power up move I call my Boom Shock! Boom Shock. Kawaka. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. He got a name for it all. He do. Oh shit, come on, Mike. Come on. <laughs> Way to ruin an epic entrance. You're alive, Mikey. You got sweet powers. Yeah, being alive is nice and all, but the electrical powers are awesome. Somebody's gonna lose this shit. Eventually your powers could burn out, and if they do, they'll destroy you as well. Whoa, like destroy, destroy? Let's go. We've got a fight to gear up for. Are you going to eat all those people? No. And transform them. They're going to be living exacts for my three children. Ew. You're going to capture every human on this planet? That don't take too much time, Vane. Just blow this place up so we can move on. I don't remember asking for your opinion, Hank. <laughs> not not bitch. Is that the best the humans can do? Pathetic! Dream return fire! Damn. Dang, they didn't stand a chance. Right, it was a valiant effort, but a bad one. Capture as many as you can. Then stop the rest. <laughs> what was that? Off, Hell yeah. Say hello to the turtle man. Mm hmm. <laughs> she over here. Excellent. They put themselves in a tin can. I'll just put themselves in a tin can? <laughs> Basically, he went. Zap, motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> a 
Yeah, it's more agile. Oh wow, what are these egg bombs? They can't be good, whatever it is. They gotta be little mini bombs or something. Roly polies. Ew! The freaky slugs! Alright, what the fuck is this? <laughs> nice! Goddamn bug grinder! Joe's here to quick kitty. Pass control, nice. What? You're damn right, motherfucker. It works on any kind of insect. Oh, I'm wondering, I'm like, is that actually a bug or is that just a ship that's designed Oh no, like everything is organic in this nigga shit. Yeah, you, did. you idiot. <laughs> Gross and sticky and it's like techno organic or something. God damn it, Mikey. Just so loud. <laughs> Your power is weak compared to mine. Rocker, That's because I'm not on drugs you like you. Face, mm. Rocker, Rocker. There's only room in this town for one awesome electric dude, dude. Me. Go for it, dude. Mm. Ooh. If only each part of it was like a vehicle. I almost had it. Who would want to live in New York anymore? I would. <laughs> Hell. Of course. Really? Oh. Neutralizer. Mm. Mikey in the hizzy. Hopefully he doesn't burn out. It's shocking. <laughs> Trespassing fools. I am ready for this guy to go because during the space arc, he was the most annoying, yeah. recurring character. <laughs> Man, Granddaddy Salamander needs to just sit down. For real. Like, oh, like they're inside Majin Boo's ass. <laughs> or is the bottomless pit of its stomach? It's almost like the central nervous system or something. Whoa, it's like an insect raid party. It's the power station. It provides energy for the entire ship. <laughs> <laughs> he won't go to sleep. For real, this guy right here is Take hard. Take it now. Do that. You can blaze from her. Nice. He got the party city. <laughs> Damn, they just jumping him. Beat his ass. Nice. Out of the skin, he burst. Gonna put their glasses on, though. <laughs> yeah! He can't take the electricity. Find something to use against him. Hey, these camera angles, boy. Damn. <laughs> put a shot to your system. Don't leave him there. Well, he has some Dragon Ball Z shit now. Zapping my tail. Zapping my tail. Shock tart, baby. I'll take you apart, please. My please. Will you? <laughs> tail whip. Let's see that on instant replay. They showed it. They showed it on instant replay. Oh, 
Now for you to explode, ain't it? <laughs> hey, I'll teleport him out of there. That that just no. Guys, look, drag ship. What about Mikey? Ooh. Happy to fail. Right. Blue beam in the sky as usual. Mikey, you made it. Little brother. He ain't got his cute powers anymore. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What are we gonna do about his electrical powers? I have the solution. This weapon did not work on Neutralizer, but it could still work on Michelangelo. What would you want it to? Wait, wait a second, guys! Wait! <laughs> I'm still awesome, right? Oh, Why would you want to take them away? Those could come in handy. Wow, now he's naked. Looking like Franklin the Turtle. We don't have time for celebration. Why well, not? The Gifman and I must head back to Salamandria and report to the general. <sighs> but Commander, I I request permission to remain on Earth. Mm -mm. To maintain safety of the planet from insectoid Oh uh, hell yeah, that's what you want. Look at him. Permission granted, Eternity Gifma. Negative. That violates protocol 27-9B. <laughs> Referring to unauthorized aliens remaining on planet. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Mona Lisa, we have some pretty cool friends called the Mighty Mutanimals. Always looking for new recruits. Oh? Well, as long as they are admirable warriors such as you, Raphael. Rock, rock! Aww, that's so cute. <laughs> are you <laughs> so happy? <laughs> Right. He has had the most stable relationship in this entire show. I know. They right? better not break up because they, they are just my favorite. It's right, so they're perfect, cute, man. Right? But guys, that was part two of When Worlds Collide. That was a very epic arc, man. We got a chance to see the Salamandrians come back and do what they need to do to get this damn guy the neutralizer, which I guess he's completely destroyed now so that's good and uh hopefully that's the end of dread because like we i say are man, sick of this guy he is in everything everywhere all the time it doesn't matter he just finds a way to cross the galaxy the universe he doesn't care f minus for him right. um but this is an s worthy episode oh yeah definitely an s worthy episode man this is very good it's like we're not leaving any stones unturned up in this season like we're kind of touching back on things that weren't really solved and stuff like that so it's cool to see them do that and it seemed like there's like a lot of casualties that were gonna happen at first because i thought one of them damn ultrons was gonna get their ass ate up for real I did. That he had him in his mouth. right all they had to do was like <sighs> you know <laughs> And then make that dumbass noise once he finished digesting him. Right. <sighs> must be a fan of uh, Fozzie from um, well, fucking Muppets. I don't know. But <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But that was, that yeah, was definitely that was, so cute with yeah. Raphael and freaking Iggy up there. They're just so cute. They are, man. Hopefully, you know, she, you know, she blends in well with the Mutanimal. She actually yeah, gets Yeah, it'd be good to have a girl on the Mutanimal team. Right, because they need all the help they can get. Cause they, they be struggling. They be struggling hard. The damn uh, chimpanzee dude, his helmet always get knocked off. Knocked off. Poor Leatherhead, he just be going through it, you know. He be, going he be through getting it since literally the first season. all the way up. All the way. Um... Then they switch out between that bird and in between the gecko. Like, neither one of them are good. Uh, so I don't even know. Yeah, I don't either. She would do well on that team. Yeah, but th yeah, this season right here, you guys remember that final season of the um, 80s cartoon? Like, they ended, like, I think it was 1995 or something. They called it the Red Sky season. Like, when they had uh, Lord Dreg, he was the final boss and stuff. And for some reason, I think it was Michelangelo. He can turn into this big buff ass turtle and they had this human with him. I forgot his name. I think it was Kino or something like that. He could turn into a big giant looking 
mutant man with a mohawk. Mm. I think he was voiced by Bumper Robinson too, like the guy that uh, played uh, young Jackie up in the Jackson's American Dream. <laughs> that guy, voice mm. acting legend. Yeah, that was, I don't like put me in the mind of that. And once again, y'all to be hating on Rise of the TMNT. I want to be mad at Mikey for having a little rope a thing, but. They reduced Mikey to a fucking grappling hook up in the final season of that uh, 90s cartoon. So, uh, yeah. Another reminder of that. Y'all want to be hypocrites. But anyways, yeah. We get this in the S. Uh, can't wait to see what else they're going to do. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to you guys. Uh, if there's anything that we may have missed or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us. But this is your boy RBG, my girl Jenny Lee on the ones and twos. We into the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Tales of the TMNT. Rocka Rocka. Peace.